What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY watering system for your quail cage. Let's get stuck into the video. Now before we get into the video, I'd like to give today's sponsor a huge thank you. Uh, just kidding. As if Bunnings Warehouse would sponsor me with 180 subscribers. Who am I kidding? But in all seriousness, you are gonna start off with a water reservoir. In this case, I have a 20 liter bucket, but any water reservoir will do. Ultimately, the bigger the water reservoir, then the less often you have to fill it up, which ultimately means less maintenance in the future. We're then going to need a water outlet from the water reservoir, in which case I've gone with a 20 millimeter bulkhead fitting, also known as a tank outlet fitting. From there, we'll need a 20 millimeter threaded female PVC adapter, which will thread onto the end of the bulkhead fitting. Now my specific cage behind me here is a three tier cage in which I will be building the watering system to those specifications. I'm gonna have a main water line running out of the bucket and then three separate water lines running into the individual cages. Therefore, in order to complete this build, I'm going to need two 20 millimeter 45 degree angle PVC elbows two 20 millimeter PVC T-sections, and to cap off the end of the three individual lines running within the cage, I need three 20 millimeter end caps. I'm also going to install this 20 millimeter tap, which has a ball valve on the inside in order to shut off the water line if I need to. It's always good to have a tap so that you can shut off the water supply to the rest of the line in case you need to do repairs or fix a leak in the system. And last but not least, we need these PVC nipples, which the quail will actually drink out of. And now that we have our components, I'll show you what tools you're gonna need in order to build the system. You'll need a hacksaw in order to cut your PVC pipe, or in my case, a powered angle grinder. You'll need a 32 millimeter hole saw in order to cut the hole for the bulkhead fitting in the bucket, a power drill, some plumber's tape to wrap around the thread of the nipple in order to make it watertight, we're gonna start off by drilling a hole in the bottom of the bucket with the 32 millimeter hole saw drill bit. Make sure you get rid of any build up swarf around the outside or shavings from the drill bit that'll ensure that we get a nice water seal to prevent any leakage. Once we've got that sorted, we're gonna go ahead and take our 20 millimeter bulkhead fitting or tank outlet and secure it through the inside of the bucket to the outside. Now these tank outlet fittings are actually made up of four components. First you have the bolt, an internal gasket, an external gasket, and a nut which threads onto the bolt. We're gonna take the bulk section from the tank outlet fitting and place it through the bucket, through the hole which we drilled from the inside. We have a gasket on one side of the wall. We're gonna take the external gasket, place it on the outside of the bucket wall, and then take the nut and thread it on. Now I've gone ahead and tightened this by hand, albeit as tight as I could. However, if you're not confident that that's going to make a watertight seal, then you could go ahead and finish it off with a shifter or a spanner in order to make sure it's as tight as possible. But I'm pretty sure it ain't gonna leak. We're then gonna go ahead, take our 25 millimeter threaded female adapter and thread it to the male thread on the tank outlet fitting. As you can see, I've already fixed a little bit of plumbing tape here, but I'm gonna take a little bit more to ensure that this thread doesn't leak. And again, I just tightened it by hand. We're then gonna take our 45 degree angle 20 millimeter PVC elbow and attach it to the threaded female adapter using a section of 20 millimeter PVC pipe. Now at this point, in order to complete the project, we need to take our bucket and place it on top of the quail cage in order to secure the rest of the pipes into the desired positions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the desired length of the PVC pipe and cut them with the angle grinder before I secure the remainder of the fittings.
Okay guys, so now that we have everything fixed into position with the T-sections and the 90 degree elbow down the bottom facing towards the inside of the quail cages, it's now time to move on to the inside of the quail cage section of the watering system. We're going to take our lengths of PVC pipe and drill the relevant holes in order to secure the watering nipples. Let's get stuck into it. Now in my situation, I'm having four quail in each cage, one male and three females, and therefore in my section of PVC pipe within the cage, I'm gonna go ahead and install one, two, three, four of the watering nipples. I'll start off by drilling four pilot holes with the two millimeter drill bit, and then finish them off with a six millimeter drill bit according to the dimensions of the thread on the nipple. I'm again going to take the trusted plumber's tape and wrap it around the thread of the nipple to ensure a nice watertight seal. Now that we have our three sections of pipe with the nipples in place, it's time to cut out the holes in the quail cages and secure them into position. Oh, but before we do that, let's not forget to install our tap. Okay guys, so now that we have the watering system set up and installed, it's time to fill it up with water and see whether or not the quail are smart enough to recognize that that's where their water is now coming from. And there you have it guys, that's how you build yourself a DIY watering system for your quail cage. If you've got a lot out of this video, why don't you hit the thumbs up, that helps the YouTube algorithm, and consider subscribing to the channel. I've actually got an entire playlist specifically dedicated to raising Katornix quails, from building a DIY incubator to a DIY brooder, DIY quail feeder, DIY watering system, DIY grow out cage, DIY breeding cage, and the list will continue. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you can be notified every time a new episode goes live. Thanks for joining me and we'll catch you again in the next video.